so there have been a lot of questions asked that when i am doing the magisk installation video so today is the day hey what's happening guys hope you all are doing well this is Tiro back with another video and today in this video as you can see from the title i'll show you how to install magisk manager on nitrogen os or any android rom and yes with this method you can use all the banking apps on nitrogen os or any rooted or somewhat rooted android roms so let's do it So first of all you need to go to this XDA thread from the description box below and you need to download these three files which are latest magisk zip file, magisk uninstaller zip file if you want to uninstall magisk later and magisk manager apk file. And make sure you have official TWRP recovery installed. And as you can see I am using latest nitrogen OS right now. So totally stock Nitrogen OS 15 February 2018 build with stock kernel and running with micro G apps. Now let's open up the root checker app and see what it shows. As you can see it says root access is not properly installed. And now let's open up the Google Taze app to see if it works or not. So as you can see it says here that we can't use Taze or any other banking apps on this ROM as of now of course because it's a custom ROM. So as I have downloaded all three files I showed you earlier. So now let's boot the phone into TWRP recovery. As you can see I am using latest official TWRP 3.2.1.0 here. So now hit install and locate where the magisk files are. Here I have the installer and uninstaller zip file. So for now I will just install the magisk installer zip file. So select it and swipe to confirm flash and wait for the time being. Note that for this process you will not need to wipe anything. Once done hit reboot system and wait again. Once you are booted up into the system open up your app drawer and search for magisk manager app. So here it is as you can see. So let me put the app on my home screen somewhere. Now let me open up the app. As you can see it shows the installed magisk version over here. Swipe from the left you will see magisk super SU and magisk hide option. I will show them one by one a bit later. First let's jump into the settings. You can enable dark theme if you want to and you can change super user access and much more stuff like that. Have a look if you need to. So here is the super su tab. I have not give super su permission to any app yet. That's why it shows no apps here. Now let's jump into magisk hide. So here let's search for this. From here you can select any app on which you do not want to allow or even show them that you have root access. Select it and done. Now let's go back and let me open up the root checker app again. Tap on verify root. And hit grant when you see a super user request. As you can see now it says congratulations we have root access. So now let's go back and open up this. And let's try to register it again. And as you can see it says you are safe with this choose a lock option. So let me do that. And yes you can see I am inside this app and it should work fine now. I don't have balance in my sim or my bank account. Pretty much I don't need this but yeah I am showing it to you guys so that you get an idea. Now let me open up magisk once again and show you guys how it looks like when the Wi-Fi is turned on. I forgot to turn on the Wi-Fi previously. As you can see this is how it looks like. If you want to use more banking apps then just hit this safety net check option so that you are ready to go with payment apps and stuff like that. So that wraps up this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the big thumbs up button if you like this video and subscribe to the channel right here if you love my work. This here has been Tito from KDN Tech. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye now.